You notice the Great Hunt never sends us anywhere nice? The Empire's been fighting for control of Balmara for years. Death tolls in the high seven figures. How is there anything left to fight over? The weapons factories are built to withstand attack. The people aren't. Let's see what Krista has to say about our job here. It's starting the Hollow now. Welcome to Balmora, Hunter. Your target is the right impressive Admiral Iverness. They call him Admiral Untouchable. Spends all his time on a fancy flagship surrounded by armed soldiers. Can't kill what you can't touch, Hunter. You gotta lure Admiral Iverness off his flying fortress and down to Balmora. To make things even more interesting, no friendly contacts here. You gotta figure this out yourself. And don't forget, the job ain't done till you're the only hunter left standing. Good luck. She's kidding, right? This is a suicide mission. Never stopped you before. Consider this a chance to show you've got more in your arsenal than a blaster. I'm logging into the Imperial Network. Let's see what I can dig up about this Admiral Ivernus. He's a war hero, all right. Actually won some battles against the Mandalorians. Wonder if that's how he got on the list. Hmm, this is interesting. Turns out one of the Admiral's toadies is in the market for a bounty hunter. Let's get every piece of information on them you can pull down. The job listing contact is Lieutenant Major Purell. And get this, discretion is of the utmost importance. Whatever this is, Purell wants it secret. Imperials have the best dirty little secrets. Remember Drummond Koss? Dirty is right. I don't think I'll ever forget that poor Admiral and his horrible daughter. How about we go have a chat with Lieutenant Major Perel at his office at the Imperial Base in Sobrick? Find out what he wants. You there! Bounty hunter! We want a word with you! What are you supposed to be? I'm Vor. This is my sister, Vi. We've come to collect a debt from you, and we expect payment in full. We Corellians are very particular about our debts. You killed our brother Vex, you pile of scum! You got anything to say for yourself? Take off before you regret it. We're not afraid of you, and neither was Vex. He was the galaxy's best gunfighter. He was that Corellian bank robber on Hutter, right? The fast draw guy. You couldn't take him in a stand-up fight, so you shot him in the back. Now you're going to pay the price. The name Taro Blood ring a bell? He told us how you slaughtered Vex and then killed the old man, Brayden, when he discovered your crime. Brayden? I, I can't believe even Taro would stoop that low. This pair of Corellians are nothing but Taro's pawns. Enough, let's fry the scum and be done with it. You're dead! Ah, bounty hunter. You may have just stepped into a job opportunity. I understand you are not averse to occasional... off-the-record tasks which require some discretion. One of our officers has just had an unfortunate dust-up with a valuable delegate, and we need to... doctor the results. Why don't you lay out the situation first? This... officer recently quarreled with one of our Chiss delegates. The delegate did not survive. The Chiss have provided crucial intelligence here and elsewhere in the war. It would not do to strain relations with them. What's your game plan? We have doctored a security recording to make it appear that Balmoran rebels attacked the delegate. We need someone with no direct connection to this officer to go to the room where the murder occurred and upload the doctored footage to the security cameras. With luck, we can turn this into a galvanizing point against the rebels. Cover-ups always backfire. Throw this idiot officer to the wolves and be done with it. Perhaps we must. Welcome to the office of Lieutenant Major Perel. I am ODX-9. How may I be of assistance? Perel sent for me, didn't he tell you? That's odd. I have no record of an appointment in my scheduling databanks. If I may inquire, with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I'm a bounty hunter. That's all you need to know. A bounty hunter? Oh, how interesting. I don't believe I've ever met one of you. My sincerest apologies, but the Lieutenant Major is currently in a meeting and cannot be disturbed. 
Thank you for visiting Lieutenant Major Perel's office. Have a pleasant day. What's the fine for destroying an Imperial droid? The penalty for destroying Imperial property is... Oh my! I'll tell the Lieutenant Major you're here! I'm so sorry to bother you, Lieutenant Major. The Republic had better be bombing the planet, you worthless piece of junk! Sir, forgive me! I had no choice! There's someone here! I don't care who's out there, you scrap pile! I told you I was not to be disturbed! I'm answering your encoded request for help. Sir, shall I call security? Uh, no, no. That's not necessary. Send our guest in right away. This time, make sure we are not disturbed for any reason. Any reason. Understood? Perfectly, sir. I will unlock the door right now. Perel's our only connection to Admiral Ivernus, so let's make Lieutenant Major a very satisfied customer. My apologies for the poor welcome. I never informed that idiot droid I was hiring a bounty hunter. I'm assistant to the naval attaché of the governor of Balmora. I specialize in intelligence gathering. Master is wise and powerful. This is Mergir, an amusing gift from a friend on Drummond Cass. What she lacks in intelligence she makes up for in entertainment value. Let's get down to business, shall we? My superior, Colonel Sartius, is an incompetent fool. I toil in his shadow, though his job should rightfully be mine. You're mighty proud of yourself, aren't you? I have served this Empire with distinction for years, and yet I'm still merely a Lieutenant Major. Unacceptable. But what's most infuriating is that Colonel Sartius has the full confidence of Admiral Ivanus. Colonel Sartius remains in power because he excels at hiding his gross incompetence from the Admiral. But we're going to tear down that facade. The Admiral may be protecting Sartius for his own reasons. Unlikely. Admiral Ivanus doesn't tolerate failure from his subordinates. He executes failures. I want you to create problems for Colonel Sartius. Problems I'm confident he can't deal with. Your missions will involve plenty of mayhem and destruction. And the pay is quite generous. Interested? If I wasn't, I'd already be gone. Indeed. Then let's discuss specifics. Your first target is the Okara Droid Factory. Before the Empire invaded Balmora, we sabotage the facility, turning the droids into crazed killing machines. Colonel Sartius is very close to deciphering the facility's control codes. If he does, it will bring the droids fully under the Empire's control. The Colonel cannot be allowed such a victory. I sent a data slicer to enter a code scrambling virus into the facility's computer system. What's the problem? The security team escorting the slicer was killed by the facility's droids. Now, the Slicer is trapped inside. The Slicer refuses to input the virus until I send a rescue team. I'm sending you. The Slicer's name is Zalia. Force her to input the virus into the system. Then eliminate her. No loose ends. We'll have more business to discuss when you return.